Hi, this is going to like to share how to solve this quadratic equation. I will first reduce this quadratic function as a product of quadratic functions. Since applying quadratic formula is much easier as compared to quadratic formulas. So we should have x to the power of 4 minus 10x cubed plus 26x squared minus 10x plus 1 is equal to the product of quadratic functions. Since the coefficient of x to the power of 4 is equal to 1, so which means that we can have x squared times x squared and we just have to complete the form of quadratic function. So which means that we should have plus ax plus b plus cx plus from here we can see that the constant of the left hand side is equal to positive 1 so which means that b times d should be equal to positive 1 and we have two possibilities one is b is equal to d is equal to positive 1 or b is equal to d is equal to negative 1 however if we compare the coefficients of the second and the fourth term we realize that they are exactly the same so which means that if we take negative we will result in opposite sign which is wrong so we can take only b is equal to d is equal to positive 1 and we can rewrite as x square plus ax plus 1 times x squared plus cx plus 1 and now we can expand this so we should have x to the power of 4 plus next term should be x to the power of 3 in order to obtain x to the power of 3 we can take x squared times cx plus ax times x squared so which means that we have a plus c and for next term we have x squared in order to have x squared we can take x squared times 1 plus x squared times 1 so which is 2 and ax times cx which is ax plus 2 and plus x so which means that we have ax times 1 plus 1 times cx so a plus x and for the last term the constant 1 times 1 which is 1 and now compare the left hand side with the right hand side so which means that a plus c is equal to negative 10 and a c plus 2 is equal to 26 so which means that a c is equal to 26 minus 2 which is 24 a is equal to 24 over c and now we have equation 1 and equation 2 i'm going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1 and we should obtain 24 over c plus c is equal to negative 10 now times the entire equation by c so which means that we have 24 plus c squared is equal to minus 10 c bring everything to the left we obtain c squared plus 10c plus 24 is equal to 0. Now factorize the left hand side we obtain c plus 6 times c plus 4 is equal to 0. So which means that c is equal to negative 6 or c is equal to negative 4. Now consider the second equation. Substitute the value into the second equation. We should obtain a is equal to 24 over c, which is negative 6. We obtain negative 4. And a is equal to 24 over when c is negative 4, we obtain negative 6. Although we have two combinations here, if we substitute into the functions, we will realize that this will result in exactly the same product of two quadratic functions. So which means that we just have to consider one combination is more than enough. So we should have x to the power 4 minus 10x cubed plus 26x squared minus 10x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 times x square minus 6x plus 1. Now let's consider the equation given by the question as we can see the right hand side is equal to 0. So which means that we have 
x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x squared minus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. And we just have to apply the quadratic formula. So which means that we should have x is equal to minus b. Minus negative 4 is equal to positive 4. Plus minus square root of b squared. 4 squared minus 4ac. A and C both equal to 1. So 4 times 1 equal to 4. Divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And for the other set, we have minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC. Divided by 2A. And this is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 4 squared is equal to 16 minus 4. So we have 12 divided by 2 and this is equal to 6 plus minus 6 squared is 36 minus 4 we have 32 over 2 and we can check that square root of 12 is equal to square root of 4 times 3 which is equal to square root of 4 times square root of 3 so which means that this is equal to 4 plus minus Square root of 4 is equal to 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2. If we simplify, we obtain 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2, plus minus 2 over 2 is equal to 1, which is left only 3. And for the other set, we have 32 is equal to 16 times 2, which is equal to 16 times 2, which is we have is equal to 6 plus minus 16 which is 4 times 2 divided by 2 simplify we obtain 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 with 2 and hence we already obtained that x is equal to 2 minus 3 2 plus 3 3 minus 2 times 2 3 plus 2 times 2 and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.